you've mentioned before that we only know about 0.03% of the greater reality. I'm wondering if you can describe some of what we're not aware of and how this can actually impact us regardless of whether we are perce perceiving it or not. So when we talk about uh, perceiving a nearly nothing, minuscule amount of the greater reality, this is in direct correlation to us experiencing just a minuscule amount of what we actually are in terms of being our own higher mind. Okay, it's a, it's a direct correlation. So the, the, the 0 0.003 of what it is that we perceive is when this immortal limitless creator being, which is what the I am, which is what we all are, reduces itself to just body consciousness. Body consciousness would just be the five physical senses and the data stream that comes into the very narrow bandwidth through our five physical senses. That's the fodder that then creates the so-called intellect. The identification with this information then creates your ego mind identity. So that's the fastest way, and hopefully I didn't say that too fast, but that is the massive limitation. So our five physical senses only perceive the narrowest of bandwidths in terms of the light that is able to come through the five physical senses. Now, what we are, sentience, divine intelligence, the I am, is literally connected to everything and part of everything. There is no limitation to that, none whatsoever. So the greater reality that we are missing is the overwhelming majority of what actually is, just like we are missing the overwhelming majority of what we are when we reduce ourselves to a biological garment or a, a biological spacesuit uh, that we call a human being. That's the reduction of body consciousness. And then we reduce ourselves to just what the what the suit is able to perceive through its very limited bandwidth. And that's what forms your intellect, your character, right? Which is a, a shadow. And I'm uh, I'm being kind when I say a shadow of what you really are, because everyone is is divinity incarnate. No one is missing, lacking anything. We are an indirect fractal of God. And I say indirect because we're a projection from our higher self, but we're not lacking anything. The ego mind identity of the human character is lacking everything because it's it's based out of being incomplete because it can only perceive so little. You identify with that so little, you're always going to be incomplete. <laughs>